Hi, this is Dr. Chad Larson. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Keep It Real. So today we're talking about summertime tip number two. Remember, we talked about five summertime tips a couple episodes ago, and, uh, and then over the next few weeks, we're gonna break down and go a little bit deeper into each of those five summertime tips. So last time, we talked about getting more vitamin D from the sun, and we talked about the healthy and safe way of, of doing that without damaging the skin. So check out that episode for more information about that. Today is all about antioxidants, so we'll get back to that in just a moment. Um, and the, uh, the other three that we're gonna be going into in future episodes is number three, we're gonna talk about the health benefits of removing um, something unhealthy from your diet. And there's kind of multiple components to why that's good for you. Um, not just removing the food, but there's other, other things that we'll talk about in that episode. Uh, summertime tip number four is take uh, cold showers and cold baths. And we'll talk about all the cool research and health benefits of that. And then uh, summertime tip number five is do something nice for somebody else, give back in some way. And we'll talk about the uh, health benefits of that. So today, let's turn back to the power of antioxidants. And antioxidants are um, nutrient substances that uh, both we make internally and we can also get from uh, food sources and then of course things like supplements as well uh, but before we dive deeper into um, antioxidants let's talk about you know what an antioxidant is why it's helpful and why we need to care about that so let's take one step back and talk about what antioxidants do by way of um, what oxidation is because anti Oxidants is helps to block um, a process in the body called oxidation. So oxidation is a normal process that happens in the body, but for a whole variety of reasons, there can be excessive amount of oxidation. And one of the byproducts of oxidation is a uh, is a substance called a free radical. And a free radical is a substance. It's a molecule that is kind of wild and out of control. It, uh, it has something what we call an unpaired electron. And this free radical or this molecule that has an unpaired electron gets kind of crazy and it starts jumping all over the place and it starts knocking into other cells and other tissues. And if this goes on for an extended period of time, it could start to lead to damage. In fact, free radicals and free radical damage has been implicated in over 60 different health conditions, including unhealthy aging, um, heart disease, cancer, and a whole bunch of other ones. And so if this free radical damage or over oxidation is kept unchecked, then uh, it can really get out of control. It can lead to um, all kinds of chronic illness. And so what we are able to do is we're able to um, consume and help our body make certain antioxidants which help to quench that free radical activity. And so in a real basic way what happens is is we have these crazy free radicals with this unpaired electron and this unpaired electron is always looking for another electron pair to get it to stabilize and chill out. And so what antioxidants do is they donate an electron to these uh, free radicals. And then when this antioxidant is able to donate this uh, um, electron, it gets the free radical to calm down and to no longer be a free radical. And then uh, that oxidative process is allowed to stop. And this needs to happen on a continual basis, which is one of the important reasons why getting a consistent and abundant variety of antioxidants from our fruits and vegetables is so key. But we'll get, we'll get back to that in just a moment. So, um, so what are antioxidants? Um, how do we get them? And, um, and how can we keep these free radicals from getting out of control? So there's, there's kind of a whole variety of antioxidants. And uh, one of the things is we make our own antioxidants at the cellular level. And really the key one is called glutathione. Glutathione is made in the body at the cellular level by uh, three amino acids. It's called a tripeptide. 
these three amino acids come together and they form this kind of you know antioxidant superstar called glutathione and glutathione is very very powerful at quenching this kind of free radical activity so it's it's a very very powerful antioxidant um, but most of the antioxidants that help to quench uh, free radicals in the body um, we have to get from an outside source things like um, vitamin E, vitamin C, just remember the acronym ACEs, A-C-E-S. Um, the A is vitamin A, it's a very powerful antioxidant, uh, vitamin C, um, vitamin E, and then selenium, and there's your ACEs. And so from a, a straight nutrient standpoint, um, these are the nutrients that have really strong um, antioxidant activity. In fact, vitamin E is the most abundant lipid soluble um, antioxidant in the system. Lipid soluble meaning it helps to quench uh, lipid peroxidation, which is a really bad thing that happens with um, certain fats and lipids in the system. And then vitamin C is the most powerful water soluble and most abundant water soluble antioxidant in the system. And we don't make these. We have to get them from an outside source. So if we're not getting them from our foods, then these things could be in insufficient qualities or quantities in our system and we could be a little short and on our antioxidants and then this oxidation process is allowed to kind of balloon out of control and this could lead to chronic disease so we want to get these aces and there's food sources of all these things like you know vitamin a is made in the body by beta carotene or the different what we call carotenoids and carotenoids are high in like orange vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes there's uh other things like mangoes uh, have vitamin a or beta carotene in it as well and some other things um vitamin c as you pro that's probably the most well-known one so you probably know it's in uh, different citrus fruit and lots of other things like bell peppers and um Lots of fruits and veggies have vitamin C in them. Um, and then um, vitamin E and selenium uh, and other minerals are found in things like nuts and seeds. So you want to get a really good variety of these things. Um, so berries also, we talked about berries when we uh, introduced the concept of antioxidants on a prior episode. And berries are just loaded with uh, not only these nutrients, but other nutrients that we call, just as a general term, phytochemicals. And these, these phytochemicals and polyphenols are another type of antioxidants. So you can see what nature has done. Nature has provided us with um, antioxidants from multiple angles in multiple sources because this process of oxidation um, could be such a problem that you could see you know the fact that free radicals has been tied to over 60 different health conditions we can see how bad it is when this um, oxidative process gets out of control so having an abundant amount of antioxidants is just so crucial so crucial to uh, just general general health in the body so get a good variety um, of those things. Um, there's also sort of a uh, botanical or, or herbal uh, source of antioxidants. And um, there's a lot of really interesting medical literature about the health benefits of things like um, curcumin. Curcumin is one of the main constituents in the herb called turmeric. And, there's just lots and lots and lots of studies, very, very good, high quality studies showing the uh, health benefits of things like curcumin and, uh, and turmeric. So um, getting it from that source, again, you know, turmeric you can get, um, you can add to foods. Um, you can also get curcumin in uh, supplement, nutritional supplement form. Resveratrol um, had spent some time in the news because it's, um, it's a component of of wine. Wine is pretty high in resveratrol and so uh, there's some studies that have been done on the benefits, the antioxidant benefits of resveratrol. Um, green tea also has um, an interesting polyphenol called EGCG epigallocatechin gallate and this is also shown to have some really interesting uh, health benefits and they all work from an antioxidant level. They help to quench that free radical activity and uh, decrease the destructive process of oxidation. 
Um, so from a food standpoint, you really want a whole, a whole uh, rainbow variety of fruits and vegetables. Get the reds, the oranges, the greens, um, the purples, all the, these different colors that nature has provided in our fruits and vegetables, that's the antioxidants. So nature has made these things really pretty and desirable to eat and tasty. And so we um, are interested in eating those things. And then when we eat them, we get this really great abundance of antioxidants. Um, so that's, uh, that's um, really key. Um, also on the supplement side, you can get these things in supplement form. You know, vitamin C, a lot of people take vitamin C, vitamin E, um, all these different nutrients that I just mentioned could all be found in supplement form. Glutathione, uh, that's that internal um, antioxidant. There's some nutrition supplement companies that are trying to make uh, glutathione in a form that you can take, but for the most part, glutathione is not very stable in supplement form. Uh, we'll talk in a future episode a little bit more about glutathione. It's so important. That there are ways that we can boost it up, but for the purposes of today, just understand that it's a really important um, internal uh, antioxidant that's produced in all of our cells, and it's very key um, to have uh, good levels of glutathione. But from a supplement side, I'd say my favorite way of getting plenty of antioxidants in the supplement form, form is from uh, superfoods. Superfood blends and these different um, greens, uh, powder blends are very, very high in, uh, in antioxidants. And how do we know they're high in antioxidants? Fortunately, there's a, a quantitative value called an ORAC, O-R. AC. It stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity. And there's labs that could take a food or a product, a supplement, and they could evaluate and measure the uh, ORAC levels in that product or food. And so some of these supplement companies have done this third-party um, analysis to find out what their ORAC value is. And so I wanted to show you my current favorite one of, uh, of a superfood antioxidant. It's right here. It's called New Greens. This particular one that I'm holding is called New Greens Berry. Um, there's two other forms from this company. One's called New Greens Original and one called uh, is called New Greens Organic. And it's organic that I want to take a sec and, uh, and mention something about. Um, so there is an independent analysis of the New Greens organic. And let me just put something into perspective. If you have 100 grams of berries, uh, the US Department of Agriculture, the USDA, has, has done ORAC value on, uh, on all the key you know, fruits and vegetables. And on uh, things like blueberries and blackberries, the ORAC quantitative value is um, at about 2,400 for 100 grams of blueberries. And for blackberries, it's uh, I think a little over uh, 2,000. And so that's, that's you know, one of the highest. If you look at a list of the highest amount of um, ORAC value in different produce, berries, blackberries are right there um, at the top of the list. And so just to put that into perspective, a superfood powder like the uh, New Greens Organic has um, per 100 grams, has over uh, 46,000 as an ORAC value. So compared to 2,400, it has 46,000. But you don't consume uh, 100 grams of a superfood powder all at the same time. So to extrapolate that per serving, it's over 17,000 ORAC per serving. And so that compared to uh, about 2,400 in blueberries. So 17,000, 2,400. Um, I'm a big fan of having diet as the centerpiece to really boost our, our health and particularly with things like antioxidants. But man, if you can start taking one of these superfoods along with that, you can really, really give yourself an antioxidant boost. So particularly when, uh, when you, you know, it's summertime, when you might be getting more sun exposure, or maybe during times of more stress, uh, when this kind of oxidative process is at a, at a heightened level, um, you'll want to really maximize your amount of antioxidants. And by taking a superfood powder with that high 
of, uh, of an ORAC value and you know these ORAC values you only, you only want to um, get these kind of supplement uh, superfood products like this new greens when it's been independently third-party analyzed and this product was is analyzed by a company called Brunswick Labs which is really the gold standard for this type of ORAC testing and uh, it's really off the chart um, as far as ORAC value. So adding something like that into your uh, protocol is not a bad idea. So, uh, you know, having diet really as a centerpiece, but this it can be a really nice antioxidant supplement just to help um, boost up your antioxidant levels. And remember, we want to do that because we're trying to quench this free radical activity, which ca can cause oxidative damage and is, you know, like we talked about, is related to over 60 different health condi conditions, including unhealthy aging, heart disease, um, cancer, and a huge long list of other things like inflammation and arthritis and all these different kind of slow inflammatory destructive process that turns into chronic illness. Antioxidants is a, is a, is a really key way to help prevent um, some of that unhealthy process in the system. So that is summertime tip number two. Next time we'll talk about the uh, importance of and the simplicity of removing something unhealthy from your diet. Could be small, could be big. Um, and we'll talk about that next time. So go enjoy some antioxidants today and we'll talk to you next time. Until then, keep it real.